Hi everybody, I'm back with my next video. I apologize, I know it's a few days late. I was a little busy over the weekend, so I was not able to get it made. But I'm here now, and this video is another one based on a question. <laughs> it's based on a question that I was asked by another one of my viewers, so I thank you for all of these amazing questions. Please, please. Please keep them coming. I really enjoy answering them. I enjoy seeing people being curious and wanting to know more. So please ask anything you want to know. This question is, um, I was asked what dating was like while having Tourette syndrome. Well, as I don't know, I'm sure some of you are aware that I am married now. And I'm married to a very, very wonderful man who deals with my Tourette's in the best way I've ever known. Aside from family members, he's always trying to make it better for me. He knows that there's not a lot that... <laughs> he knows that there's nothing really that he can do to stop it, and I know that it kills him. He tells me all the time how much it kills him to see me ticking because he wants to make it go away for me. Not because he has any problem with me ticking. He's the most patient person ever. He'll stand by me in the middle of grocery stores when I am at a standstill because I'm kicking my feet on the floor and he'll always just be in support of me and do whatever it takes to make me feel comfortable because he knows that I have no control over it and that if I could I would stop in a heartbeat. Um, dating though before I met him and I never really came across anybody that was necessarily mean or rude to me while I was dating them. I think I just dated some boys that didn't really know what to do or how to handle it and that's okay because not a lot of people understand Tourette syndrome or see people do weird things like that with their face and with their body and so they didn't know what to do but I think because they weren't sure what to do um, they were scared to do anything at all they would almost act as if some one of them almost acted as if I was way worse off than I really am and I didn't really like that that made me feel more uncomfortable and almost made me take more the other one acted as if it never happened which ne isn't necessarily a problem but sometimes I like it acknowledged by the person I'm with because I might need their help I might need them to talk to me I might need them to put their hand on my back rub my back and soothe me so that I can come back from what a lot of us like to call a really bad tick attack um I always judged the guys I dated on my Tourette's because I wanted to see how they handled it because obviously if they couldn't handle it just while we were dating they weren't going to be able to handle it long term and I needed to feel comfortable around somebody. Um, one of my boyfriends I didn't feel that comfortable around him enough to tick because he was kind of a jerk and we've all been there but I felt like he wasn't going to be any help to me and that relationship did not last very long but that was one thing that I kept in mind, that I need to find somebody that's okay with who I am, ticks and all, because I never know when I'm going to tick. I never know what day is going to be bad. I can kind of guess when I'm excited or stressed that it's going to be a bad day, but I never know for sure, and I needed to have somebody that was going to stand by me no matter how bad they got. And I'm not saying necessarily any of the men that I dated were bad guys because of, because of it, but it helped me to know that they weren't the ones that were right for me. My husband now multiple times has told me that he loves me even more because of my Tourette's because it made me into the woman that he knows now and I can't thank him enough for making me feel confident for the person that I am. And I would say that that's something that each one of us needs to find with or without Tourette's. But especially with Tourette's, you need to find somebody that's patient. You need to find somebody that's not going to get fed up with you in that loves you through it and not in spite of it because it's not going to go away. So you have to find a way for both of you to work through this situation in your lives that sometimes it's going to sometimes it, it's going to affect plants. Sometimes it's going to affect the way your mood is and you just need somebody there that can understand that and that it's not going to blame you for being upset or angry after a really bad day. And I'm so thankful that I have a man in my life that is all of those things and that treats me like anybody else and that just wants and he just wants to see me better
I know I'm young to be married, but I know that I found the right person, especially when it came up uh, with my Tourette's. I told him that I had Tourette's the very first night we went out, the first day that I met him, and he took it wonderfully. He only knew about the swearing kind of Tourette's, as most people do, and he even admitted to me that he maybe may have made a joke or two about it in his previous life before me, which I can't blame him because everybody does. Nobody really knows about this disorder, and that's a big reason for these videos. And now he couldn't be more supportive, and his entire family has accepted me, and it's been supportive as well, and I'm so thankful for that. And dating a lot of the guys that didn't know and understand, didn't know how to take my Tourette's, made it easier for me to find out what I needed in my life and what kind of support system I did need by my side for the rest of my life. So once again, very good question. I hope I kind of answered that for you. I wasn't a really big person in the dating scene growing up throughout high school and college, so there's only a few guys that I've dated. So I hope I answered that to the best of my abilities. Um, as always, please leave any comments that you would like. Please feel free to contact me on Twitter, on uh, my email, and please feel free to go check out my blog, which I did finally write a new post about being honest when it comes to your Tourette syndrome. So please go ahead and check that out, and feel free to share this video and ask me anything you would like to know. Thank you.